morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'm glad that you've been able to join me once again. I'd like to look at a verse today found in Acts chapter 18 and it's a portion of verse 10. And it says this, I am with thee and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. The title to my thought today is simply this, if God be for us, who can be against us? What a lovely thought today. And if you've got up and you're not feeling too good, just repeat that thought over. If God be for us, who can be against us? It might be you've got up this morning and you're concerned about the day before you. The day might be filled with stress. It might be that you've got up and you're carrying burdens on your shoulders. Can I say to you, give the burdens to the Lord, for he is the great burden bearer. And he will take you through this day victoriously if you trust in him. It may be that you are fearful because of what men may do. Then I want to read that verse again to you. It says, I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. The wonderful truth is this, that as long as God has a work for us to do, men with all their jealousies and with all their bitterness will be restrained. By who? I'll tell you by who. By the great I am. The Jews opposed the preaching of the gospel, but they could not stop it. Neither they could, could they stop the conversation of the hearers of the gospel, talking about it and gossiping the gospel to others. For the word of God says in Isaiah 55 and verse 11, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. His word cannot fail. You see, there are some times, perhaps when at work or even at home, when you feel that you're in the minority. But can I say this morning, friends, if you are in Christ and Christ is in you, you are never in the minority. You are always in the majority. And when doing his will, keep going on. Keep straight on. Don't look to the right. Don't look to the left. Don't let anything confuse you or put you off. For those who try to oppose you must one day stand before God himself. For no man can harm us unless God permits it. You see, can you remember when the devil wanted to tempt Job? Can you remember that he had to go and ask permission of God first? Isn't that incredible as we think of that thought? Many throughout the Bible have proved the faithfulness of God. I think of little David. How afraid he must have been in his own strength to meet the giant. But we read that he didn't go in his own strength. He went in the strength of his God and of his Saviour. And in Christ's strength, we read that he ran toward the giant. He ran with enthusiasm to meet him and to conquer him. Let us do the same with our adversaries today. Let us not be turned around and flee, but let us stand firm and face them in the power of the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Let us remember, if God be for us, who dare be against us? God bless you. I look forward to being with you again 